Hello, and welcome back to Vault Hunters. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm not. Yeah, there are issues with building out of building only out of wood. And uh, that is half of your base burning down on you when you move your lava farm. I think it was lava farm. I can't think of anything else that would have caused all of this damage. Well, I'm going to be busy cleaning up and maybe move my lava farm. And I've, uh, I've cleaned up over here. So I shouldn't have to worry about my base burning down again. I replaced the wood walls with these heavy stone bricks. Finally put in the hundreds of bricks I have to good use. Also, finished up the walls down here. Now they're all brick. So they actually look nicer. And I did the thing with the stairs to sort of give it a little more texture. Now, the next thing I want to do is actually work on our power mod a bit. Now, I did not remember what these energizers did. I did a little research and, well, energizers should kind of give away what it does. Uh, you use it to craft the upgraded tiers of items and power mods. So if I go to power mod, we have the basic and the hardened starter, basic. Yeah, OK, hardened. These hardened require energized steel and hardened capacitors, which require energized steel. So I need energized steel. After hardened, we need blazing, which requires blazing crystal. Uh, how do you craft these? Again, energizer. So what we're going to need is to use the energizer to make the next upgrades to, well, upgrade our power system. So what I've done for that is I've pre-crafted all the miter components so we can make, uh, we're going to make one energizer orb and we're going to make five of these starter rods and then upgrade them to the basic rods. So that's what I have in here. But, well, we have six crates behind me right there and we have 22 mod boxes. So before I actually spend those resources, I'm going to pop open our crates, our mod boxes and see if I get any of the power mod items through that. That saved me having to actually craft them. I left my magnet on. That's all right. This is all um, bounty items. Quite a bit of skill essence. We're going to go uh, convert that down into soul, uh, soul dust. Quite a bit of bronze. A lot of gold. I'd like to see that. And our two crates. We actually can't pick everything up. Um, more blank seals. Quite a bit more rare items to uh, roll. We're just going to roll everything today, too. I mean, we might as well. Let's go through everything and uh, see if we have anything good. Okay, so let's open the mod boxes first. See if we get anything that we need for power mod. And then I'm going to go through all the jewels, all the armor, roll them and bring it back to see if we got anything that's worthwhile. Okay, we got, we're actually getting quite a bit of power mod stuff. I like to see that. A lot of cage dust. All right, what we get? We got a basic ender cell. If I remember correctly, the ender cell allows us to do wireless energy. A basic energy cell, some hardened energy cables, some basic energy cables, some more dialectic paste, enriched quartz, botany pots, punch cage dust, another compacting frame drawer. That's good. 
and some cables and of course some augments not bad not what I needed so we'll craft those up a bit later also but now as I said I'm gonna step away I'm going to roll the items and I will show you if we get anything good We got an Omega X with not a great damage roll, good chaining, a lot of durability, and our rare plus items. See if we get lucky. We'll hold on to that. 16 armor. That's not bad. What's our current? Current is 11, so that's a lot more armor. Item quality, trap this arm. That's worth keeping. Um, all right, we're gonna transmog it. These leggings are not, and the shield is not either. And then these are all the commons that we rolled earlier. And considering we got that, None of these are worth keeping and that sword does have a good attack modifier actually it's max rolled it's got mm, mineral sweeping chance but it's not bad um i'm gonna hold on to this at the very least it could be a new overworld sword for me and as far as jewels go we've got a size 28 with 6.8 my sorry size 27 with 6.8 mining speed a size 20 with 17% vanilla immortality. A size 36 axing copious and item rarity. Size 19 axing. Um, actually, that's not really worth it. 0.08. Uh, size 33, 4.5. I'll hold on to it because I don't have much money speed anymore, but that's not really a good one either. And size 28, 2.2 .2 item quantity. And I mean, we might as well do our relics and our mystery boxes while we're here. We, as a refresher, we have one relic complete, the cupcakes. And then we have one, two, three, four more that just need one more item. Probably not gonna get them, but it's worth taking a chance. Minor set, cupcake. Wow, we just got a whole bunch in one go. I think only one of those is a new item for me. Oh, look, we completed the cupcake set again. You do actually get something for completing it a second time. Uh, ooh, we've completed the minor set. Awesome. Well, in that case, let's go craft up an ad pedestal. For this, here we go. We need two stone, a smooth stone, and a pair of beniotite. We'll make a crafting grid eventually. Why don't you select it first? Nice. It's our second relic. Now we have a full extra minute of all time. And our mystery boxes. We got an echo gem. That's very nice. Everything else is the usual. But an echo gem is nice. Boy, maybe my uh, base should burn down more often. I'm actually getting good stuff today. And uh, tree farm is fixed. The redstone link on this router was turning off this router so i just gave them a once a uh, spacing of one between each so now that won't be an issue anymore since we didn't get any of the parts we needed from those mod boxes let's craft them up now we need one energizing orb and then i wanted to do five up oh, can't stack them apparently of the starters and then upgrade those to five of the basics. Oh, 
There we go. Now we have five energizing rods and one on energizing orb. So we have semi-prepared down here. So we have a line of all of our energy cables. We'll put our energizing orb there. And let's put each of these attached. Now, every one of the uh, energizing rods you have means it will transfer energy quicker, means you'll craft quicker. And if we go back to the power mod, what we need, or what I want, is to find the right thing I'm looking for. Here we go. Energizing steel, which needs one chromatic steel, one Laramar, and one Vault Essence. Which I happen to have on me right now. So do I have to put them in one at a time, or can I put a stack in? Okay. You put them in one at a time, but the craft, thanks to these being, um, me having multiple of them, is just about instant. And now I'm going to want to upgrade our Magmatar. So it's going to require five of the steel and two hardened capacitors, which will require a basic capacitor, which requires basic. Uh, okay. There are a lot of rabbit holes here, but if I just looked at that correctly, I need five up uh, four steel to make the two hardened. That's the energy cell. Um, and then another five for the magma magnetar. So I need to do one more craft of this. And now I'm going to go put together all the little parts in order to make what I need to make uh, two hardened capacitors. We need one basic large to make a basic large. We need two basics to make a basic. We need two tiny. So we need four tiny. To make two of those. To make one of those make two of those. Okay. I'm going to need another dialectic casing, which I have enough to make. And now we got to go steal our magnetar from the bottom of our base. Turn off the pump quickly so we don't make a mess. Pick that up. Oh, that reset its stored energy. But now this generates 200 FE per tick instead of only... What was it? 80 before? Yeah, it used to generate 80. Now we're generating 200. So we're going to generate energy a lot quicker. We can store a fair bit more. And now we can see about expanding other stuff like our energy cell. And hopefully this retains its stored energy. Otherwise it's a, uh, oh, it's 4 million energy is about to be erased. And for some reason, I feel this recipe was missed. I feel like it should be. Well, okay, it lost all of its energy, but it does now store 10 million. So I should get that back pretty quick. Oh yeah, this hardened energy cell doesn't have uh, the energized steel in it. It requires the chromatic iron. I feel like that's a mistake. But... Well, you know, Monopoly. Mistake, uh, bank error in your favor, collect $200. Yeah, I'm not going to complain. So we've switched out our magnet. I was hoping to get mining speed. I couldn't, but got plus 20% damage. 
that boosts us up to 120 damage. I think I'm going to stick with that. And I added the health. So the only thing I did to this helmet was added health and, of course, uh, unbreaking and respiration to it. That now gives us 44 hearts and 80 defense. So this is a good upgrade. I uh, also made a pair of banners. That's unfortunately as close as I can get them to uh, the actual thing. Yeah. <laughs> so let's jump into a vault. I do have a new quest active, uh, bounty active. It's just to complete any vault. Give me another helmet, bunch more gold, Benny tight landmark, and more dust. Trapped, lucky, bonus living, and prosperous. Oh, artifact chance. And it's elixir. And we now had we now started with 26 minutes. We got the extra minute now. Okay, good. Drowned are actually worth. Okay. Vault fighters are worth nothing. Drowned are worth something. Wooden chests are worth a lot. That's good. Living are worth a lot too. I was not expecting that. There is a spawner in there, which I did not see before. There's so many, uh, ooh, chat my altar. What does this want me to do? Kill 16. Easy enough. Oh boy, everything's just giving me a ton except for, uh, Uh, what are they called? Everything is giving me a ton of of elixir except for the vault fighters. They give me like none. But now I need to get 16 kills. That should be very easy. I just need to find a spawner and camp it for a minute. That's uh, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, seven, eight, nine, I think. should be all of them so it's very confused where the uh, mining fatigue came from <laughs> 
100% reduction to mana cost of taunt. In other words, taunt is for free, but I don't have taunt. Well, I guess that means I should probably pick up at least a level of taunt. Since I can now use it for free. Although, why would I want to use taunt? Uh, let's go this way. Taunt will get stuff, uh, get mobs angry at me. I would want, I would want the fear ones. Is fear specialization of taunt? percent item quantity. Was any other theme I'd be a lot farther along right now but I have to keep worrying about falling through blocks I feel vaguely cheated. That vault had a lot of good, like Gilda gave me a lot, Ornate gave a, gave a lot, Living gave a lot, Wooden gave a lot, and I only got halfway through my, uh, through the elixir. And then we get 100% reduction to mana cost of Haunt. Let's look at that for a minute. Taunt. Fear. Um. I mean. If it's going to give it to me for free. 100% reduction. I'm going to have to double check that to see if that's actually what it does. But if that's the case, I might, might just get taunt and uh, specialize in fear. If I can use it for free, why not? So, I just regretted one point of Nova and put it into Taunt Fear. And it uses no mana. So, I think it's time to, um, well, let's get rid of Nova and just put everything into Taunt for now. It's got a 21 second cooldown and lasts for about four seconds and radius of 6.4. That's distance of five radius of six. What does that mean? Oh, it gets pushed. Mobs will be pushed five blocks away. Any mob within. Okay. Any mob within 6.4 blocks of me will be pushed away by six. Sorry, by five blocks. And for four seconds, they will run away from me in fear. And it uses no mana. Oh, wow. This is, um, this is something. The cooldown is still pretty long. 21 seconds. 
Um, I'm not sure I really want to sacrifice any more of my stuff for it. Although, do I want? I, mean, I might as well get rid of Ghost Walk if I'm not using it right now. Um, a 60 second cooldown for four seconds of being free when I can spam this for four seconds of them running away from me. Plus, it pushed them away. Plus, it cost me no mana. Plus, it has a third the uh, cooldown. Yeah, let's do that. I might have to go run another vault to uh, test this out. <laughs> Accustomed, prismatic. Custom gives us bonus XP. And uh, we start with an ore room. Wow, really? Just one ore pure Y in here? And that really wasn't worth it either. All oh, right, I forgot about taking out the uh, spawner. Laramar just copious. Very unlucky, didn't even find a single ornate chest. The Gilded were nice. Still didn't get enough to get the uh, three soul charms or spider charms. But yeah, having uh, having this for free is pretty cool. Well, that last vault was a bit underwhelming, but the important part was testing out this helmet, which works awesome. And because of how much durability it has and how many repair slots, I'm gonna have it for quite a while. So, uh, yeah, this uh, OP free fear meta is gonna be my go to for a while. 20 second cooldown, seven block radius, throws moss back seven blocks, lasts for five seconds. I did reduce, well, I removed all of Nova, I reduced Vein Miner, and removed Ghost Walk. And, uh, I mean, I can use it for free. Why would I not? I think it's going to work well for quite a while. But we're going to end it here for today. Uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you've had a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Later.